I see, I talk to so many people and it's always, I'm grinding, I'm grinding, I'm grinding. You will burn yourself out, okay? Put yourself in that feeling of success that when you walk into that arena, you're not, if your current rank is platinum 150, you gotta walk into that arena as a chairman 10, as a chairman 100 in your mind. If you have the feeling that you're at a higher rank, and you have the imagination of what it will feel like because when you walk into that arena you got to feel that you're going to be walking on stage you have to feel it even if you're not even if you're physically not you got to walk in there like a soldier if you ever watched a football game you're going to see them coming out of that 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 whole hallway and they're psyching themselves up whoever does that the most in the beginning is going to win the game Whoever gets themselves psyched up as much as they can will win the game. Look at when Mike Tyson used to box, okay? You look at him when he used to box, look at all the knockout compilations. Every person has prepared to fight him. They all got there and they had the skills, right? But when they got in the ring, who had the right feeling was Mike Tyson. He walked in and knowing he was gonna assassinate anybody that walks in that room. He'd walk into the ring with these black shorts, right? These black shorts and black shoes. And he'd walk in like a beast and his feeling was, I'm gonna destroy. He puts a feeling and energy of a boss. He feels, puts an energy and feeling of a beast even after he's retired. So when he was boxing, people get in the ring and they thought they were gonna beat him because they did enough work. All he had was the feeling inside him, in his core. There's a thing called hysterical strength. Hysterical strength. And you've heard the stories of the woman that lift the car to save the baby. You get all of a sudden, you know, something could be falling. You get this energy. That's a feeling. It's a feeling. Once it's inside here, your whole energy changes. Why can a hypnotist put people on a plank and sit on them in a hypnotic state. Why? Because he basically, you could change the chemistry of your entire body, just like you can take, I could take this Starbucks and put it in a freezer. It'll freeze, it'll change the composition, the dynamic of that water. It'll go from a static state to a dynamic state, and I could turn that into ice. Why can't you do this with feelings? Like Mike used to do, he'd walk into the ring with this beast attitude and his body would become a stone. His hands would become like rock hard, much stronger than he normally is. He knew how to put himself in his hysterical strength state. It's the feeling you have whenever you're doing it. So when you're building this business or when your relationships, it's all feeling. Put yourself in an imaginatory state also. So when you got the feeling of success, the feeling of being blessed, you start imagining things that you never had that you want. You stop thinking about things you have that you don't want. You put yourself in a position mentally, in a feeling and an emotion and an imagination that you can have anything you want. When you put your feeling there, you heighten your frequency.